Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do something kind of fun. It's Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day. And uh, in honor of that, we're going to be making a bud vase. And this is uh, one out of a piece of wood that's like this here. This one here is, uh, this has got black PVC pipe in here. There's a big hole in the middle of this. And uh, there's like eight different holes and it's holding up these flowers. It kind of makes it look like a little forest in here. I think it's kind of cool. And then uh, it was turned and then it was textured after the fact and finished up. And we'll talk about how you texture you know, would work and have kind of a dramatic effect on things uh, that you make. But we'll talk about that in another video. This one is textured, it was turned and textured to look like a tree stump. And uh, I've, I've had a lot of fun. You can just put branches in there and it looks like a little tree. And that's got the glass insert. When you make the bud vase, it's being wood, it doesn't, uh, you need to have some kind of insert in there so that it holds water. This is a, a flat bottom test tube. And this works really good if you can find them. Now I got this at a supply place and I went back for more and they were sold out. But what's readily available is PVC. And uh, the only problem is you got a hole in the middle and you got to fill that. So this product here, is called water weld. You cut off a piece and we'll fill the bottom. I'll show you how I do that. And then this is the, the blank of wood. This is actually basswood. I prepare this piece to look like this so that I can chuck it into a uh, one of my chucks that we're gonna, you'll see how that is used. This is uh, kind of a specialty tool. It's a machinist uh, chuck. This is specifically uh, wood turning. This is called Nova Chuck. And that's so when I turn it around on this end, I have something to grip onto. And the reason you need these kind of uh, devices is that you need to have something that you can bore the hole into from, the, from your tailstock. So it'd be better to do that than to try and hold it and drill it straight with a drill bit. So let's uh, fill the bottom of this first. We have to do that and get this prepared. This takes maybe a half hour to cure. So I'm gonna cut off a little piece. Now these have already been done here. That's what it looks like when we're all done. But it takes a while for it to cure. So I'm set those aside and we'll work on the one here that doesn't have uh, the bottom filled. Now I prepared a piece of wood with, with uh, uh, wax paper on it so that it doesn't stick to the board. So I cut off about oh, maybe 3 eighths of an inch piece. Make sure you pull the plastic off, otherwise that gets kind of messed up in there. It'd be good to have something on hand, like lacquer thin or something, because it's really sticky. So you knead it all together until it's all uniform color. Make a little puck out of it and stick it in there. And mash it down on the wax paper. And then I use just anything, a dowel rod. This happens to be something I have handy. Just to press it down. That's what we'll end up with when we're all done. So let's go to the lathe now. Now, as I said, we're going to start with this uh, chuck here. This is a machinist chuck. I'll thread it on. I do have a center mark here from when I prepared this block. And so I'm going to put this in here and I don't put it all the way to the bottom, just kind of put it in part way and hold it loose. So I make sure I got it on center. I got the tailstock in there. It's very critical that you make sure that you spin it around to make sure you're clearing the, the jaws. Now I'm turning the bottom and uh, creating a foot so that I can use the other chuck. This one, now I'm counter boring here to check it and make sure that it fits the PVC. Now this other chuck needs to have that area to grip on. And I'm counter boring it to complete the drill, uh, to complete the hole. And I check it, check my progress with the PVC, apply a little uh, super glue to keep it in place. And now I finish the shape of the, of the uh, vase. And you see the uh, PVC, the, the, the live center 
spin so I can trim off the PVC with the carving tools. Putting tape on there so that it'll protect the finish I just sanded and chuck it in there gently. And now I'm mixing up some wood epox and putting it in the bottom so I can stamp in my maker's mark. Chuck it back in there and sand it up and wet it down to raise the grain. Now the reason we wetted this all down, you'll see in a minute, is to prepare ourselves for using some aniline dye, which I'll talk about in a second here. Before I get that point, I want to level this off. Belt sander belt fixed in my bench here. Just get it kind of smooth. I like to sand with the grain, which you can't do on the lathe. I'm going to call that good just to keep the dye from getting all over my fingers. I'm going to use a glove here. And this is aniline dye. This is more of a sienna red. I put a piece of cardboard down just for that reason. If, if you drop it on there, it, it stains your tabletop. All right, it's all dry now, so we're ready to do the final touches on it. And to make it, because it's a commemorative thing, kind of Valentine's Day, I'm going to stamp the uh, date on there, and then uh, we'll set it up and do the top coat with, uh, I'm, this time I'm going to use Watco Clear Lacquer. It's a matte finish, so it won't be particularly shiny. I'm going to use this pigment antique copper just to highlight the stamp. I wipe this off. Now I put rosin paper on the table here because we're going to we're going to be uh, spraying the finish on here. I'll let that dry a little bit. I'm going to grab a, a glove here so I don't spray my hand all up. It's a little darker there because that's the end grain. And if that's something that you would rather not see, uh, sanding it a little smoother than I did, or in this case here, I actually highlighted that with some black paint sprayed it on the bottom, which kind of makes a little bit of a dramatic effect. Now it's finished. So all we have to do is add water. Put the butt in there and happy Valentine's Day. Make sure if you like it, give a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you next time.